Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Deathbot from 32 Academy. Okay, let's read the question together first. The question asks how many integer solutions does this equation have? So the equation is x cubed minus x minus 1, the whole thing bracket, to the power of x plus 2013 is equal to 1. So how many integer solution does it have? This number theory of problem. So x is an integer. You have an expression of x to the power of an expression of x equal to 1. So notice that for it to be something to the power of something equal to 1, yeah. for it to be possible, that means that it can be that the power is 0, right? So x plus 2013 is 0. That means that x is negative 2013. So this is one rule, right? And to be precise, we need to check when x is equal to negative 2013 is x to the power of 3 minus 4, x minus 1 would it be 0 or not? and obviously this will not be 0, right? so that means that x equal to negative 2013 is one of the solution why do I need to check if this is 0 or not? because I do I, if this is 0, that means that this value of x I cannot take as a root because 0 to the power of 0 is undefined okay it cannot equal to 1 so but here it's it's the base is not 0 so something that is not 0 to the power of 0 it will equal to 1 so that's one root otherwise okay otherwise if the power is not 0 okay that means that the base is either plus or minus 1 so that means that the base x cubed minus x minus 1 is either plus or minus 1. Let's deal with the plus 1 first. So x cubed minus x minus 1 is equal to 1. Notice that this uh, this equation, there is no integer solution. Okay? There is no integer solution. Basically, let's say if you shift 1 from the right hand side to the left hand side, this is minus 2 and equal to 0. So if it is an integer solution, because the constant term here is a minus 2, right? So all you need to check is when x is equal to plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2, okay? And you notice that when x is either plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2, this equation cannot be satisfied. That means that there is no integer solution so the next thing is x cubed minus x minus 1 is equal to the minus 1 okay so you can solve the minus 1 you can take x as a factor x squared minus 1 is 0 so that means that x is 0 or plus 1 or minus 1 okay so but because if the base is negative 1 now if the base is negative 1 I need to make sure that the power need to be even right negative 1 only when the power is even then is equal to 1 so notice when x is 0 the power is x plus 2013 is still odd correct if x is minus 1 this is even I can take this okay I cannot take this 1 that means this 2014 is even so I can take this as well so at first I have here so that means in total I would have three roots right hands three in teacher solutions okay so basically x can be negative 2013 x can be negative 1 or x can be 1 so three integer solutions we have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.